Hi, I'm Charlie, and I teach English and do teacher training here in Japan. Today, I'll be providing you with a brief introduction to English Central's suite of teacher tools. To sign up as a teacher at English Central, you just click on the sign up link for teachers and fill out the form. When you sign up as a teacher at English Central, an extra tab called Teach will be added to your account. You will also note a new button called Forums, which appears on the upper right of the side of the teacher screen. The forum is a great place to exchange ideas and best practices with your fellow teachers and to post suggestions and questions to the English Central team. Today I'm going to focus on teacher tools and show you some of the cool things you can do with them. All the tools are designed to help you track your students' progress, to set goals for them, and to give you help in assessing their work. You can see on the screen in front of you a graphic representation of the number of videos that several of my students have watched. As you probably know, English Central has a voice recognition system that allows students to record and compare their pronunciation with that of native speakers in the videos. By clicking on the Lines Recorded button, you can see exactly how many lines your students have recorded using our system. Depending on the number of errors and length of sentences they are practicing, students are given a certain number of points for each line recorded. Our system not only lets you see how many points they've earned, but also set weekly goals for them. In this case, you can see that I've set a goal of 800 points per week. To set or change a goal, just click on the Goal button and make use of the calculator. You can see that I've asked my students to watch one video a week, which means a goal of 800 points. If I were to increase that to three videos a week, the goal changes to 2,400 points, and the chart is automatically updated, allowing you to see their progress towards your new set goal. One of the other cool things you can do is to create your own video channel just for your students. Once you click on the Video Channel button, you are given access to the hundreds of videos on English Central's site and can pick and choose the ones you think are most appropriate for your students. For example, I'm currently teaching a course in politics and critical thinking, so if I click on the Famous Speeches button, I might choose to add a few of uh, Obama's uh, famous speeches to the uh, video category. And this would appear in my class's channel. To invite students to join your teacher's account, you simply click on the Students button, and either give the students the unique URL address you choose when you created your teacher's account, or click on the Invite Students by Email button which will generate an automated message from English Central that contains all the necessary information for them to sign up. If you are teaching several different classes with English Central, you are also given the option of creating groups. Just click on the Group button, and you can add and separate your students into as many different classes as you like. As an aid to help you to analyze and manipulate student data in ways that are useful for you, Teacher Tools also gives you the option of exporting all student data in the CSV format used by Excel. A major upgrade to the Teach Tools 
which allows you to set goals and chart student progress with all the new 1.0 features is just around the corner. Your input is very valuable to us, so please be sure to visit the forums page to introduce yourself and let us know how you are making use of English Central. Best of luck.